What's up guys, so welcome to my studio. So for this video, I'm going to bring you into my process a little bit. I told you guys that I left YouTube for a while because I was enjoying making videos on Instagram a lot. I don't know what it is about those videos on Instagram. I think it's just that they're a little more narrative style, they're more abstract, and I just really enjoy working on them. But for those videos, not on YouTube, but for the Instagram videos, I think a lot of people are under the impression that I'm working with a team to create those videos, but the reality is it's just me. And I just get questions all the time about how I make those videos happen. So I documented the behind the scenes for a video that I shot recently for um, YSL. I announced our partnership for this year. So I did like an announcement video for it. And it was a pretty cool video. It's one of my favorites. I can't actually play the video with the sound here because of copyright issues, but if you haven't seen the video, head over to my Instagram and check it out. So the behind the scenes that I'm about to show you is for that video. I enjoy working on my own, I always have, and usually when I shoot videos like this, the more abstract style ones, I don't ever really know what I'm gonna be doing when I go into it. Most of it is just kind of experimental. So for me, it's just a lot less pressure to set everything up and figure it out by myself. I also edit the videos on my own, so it really is just me. Also, I know for the longest time I've been promising a studio tour, and the reason I've been putting it off is because I keep saying to myself, like, we'll do the studio tour when I get it cleaned up, when I get everything nice and neat and organized, and it's becoming pretty clear that that's never going to happen. This room is just always a shit show. So I'm just going to do a studio tour in this shit show condition. That's gonna be one of my next, not my next video, but one of the um, videos that are coming up. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I use a lot of bootleg techniques. Like I said, I experiment a lot with different things. It's not glamorous at all. It's not organized. It's kind of just me trying things out until I get the vision that I was going for. If you wanna see more of these types of videos, I just kind of tried this one out. It's not much, it's like a quick BTS. Um, but if you wanna see more of these styles of videos, like talking about cameras, lighting, sound, all that stuff, I'm happy to do them. I just don't know what you guys wanna see. So let's just start with this one. So I'm in my studio now. Here's what it looks like currently. This is kind of like the tutorial setup here, just with that little plant and the lamp. So this is how I have it set up with the two cameras. That's the main and that's the close up. And I've got the um, microphone right here too. So that's gotta go. Um, probably gonna still use this light here. Let me show you. This is um, the Celeb 850. It's a really good lighting piece, but um, I obviously diffuse it with this. Um, but the good thing about this is you can do a bunch of different colors, and I also have the smaller version here, which I will also be using for different color effects. First thing I'm gonna do is um, throw a black background on there from this mess right here. <laughs> It's a little dark right now, but I'm starting with product shots. So I've got these three lipsticks lined up and I've got the blue light on them. This strip light right here I picked up from Ikea. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it, but it just looked like it could be useful. So for this, I am sort of spotlighting the product so it looks like that. So you can see that strip light is giving it that extra lighting that it needs so that the background stays pretty dark. Yeah, like I said, very bootleg. This is not professional at all. So here's another lighting piece from Ikea. Just like this little fork hat of like these round things. Yeah, pretty warm lights. So I'm just gonna press the core and then do a little overhead light here. So I also work with a lot of fabrics as backgrounds. In fact, when I first started doing videos, those were the only backgrounds I used. So I'm going to pin this up to the background and probably change the blue to maybe like a red. And 
then I'm gonna go here to the colors and let's see. Ooh, red rose maybe? I need something like pretty deep red. So with this crumpled metallic fabric and that red light, we end up with this. So it's just like a textured background where I'm gonna lay some of the products. So right now I have them arranged like that. And on screen, it looks like this. So right now the products are also looking just completely red. So I'm gonna spotlight them again with a warm white light so you see the actual lip colors. So I randomly just added the light behind to see what a backlight would look like. And it just adds this like really soft romantic look. So really, I mean, you can do anything and it might turn out looking pretty cool. Like you can't see the wires or anything. It just looks like like the sun back there. <laughs> and then you see if I place the light directly behind the products, it just gives another kind of cool effect. So with a lot of this, you just kind of have to be willing to play a little bit. Some things are gonna work, some things are not. Some things just get the footage because you may be able to use it, you may not be able to use it. You just never know when you go to edit. So I'm done with my product shots now. I'm gonna get a full face of makeup on and do my hair, get dressed, and do some of the face shots. Okay, makeup's on. I'm ready to shoot the face shots. Um, I'm gonna use color, obviously, for this too to make the video consistent. Of course, I'm working to music. So you can't vibe without music, you know. I have this guy on too, just because um, obviously it's beauty shots, so you want that nice, broad, soft light. So times like this, I get a little frustrated. I am having some trouble with lighting right now, mostly because my background is black and I have almost black hair, so backlighting didn't work. Um, I'm gonna try a different light now. So this is what I do every time. If I wanna change up the lighting different from the way I do tutorials, make it a little more artsy, I guess. I have to just keep trying until, um, until something works. So I have this lighting unit here. This is actually two pieces. There's a beauty dish and this aperture light. I actually love this light. I've done a lot of like lip tutorials with this light but usually with this Fresnel strapped onto it. So I'm gonna take off the dish because I don't want like a broad soft light. I want something a little more concentrated. Um, so I'm gonna switch these two. I got a lot going on here <laughs> to get that look right there. 